Previously on The Bill. Spitfink, well, tuck your shirt in and tell me what you were doing in here with DC Walker. I'm not sleeping with him. It's because you know exactly what Phil's going to do a week or a month down the line. People can change. David, your husband, then. I don't love him, Terry. Not like I love you. I'll have you a little school today. Hey. Let's have a little seat. Right David? You all right, mate? Oh. 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 What's your name? Uh, you all right? I've got nothing against you, so if you wouldn't mind not trying to break my arm! Your name? David Coles. Not David Coles, you're under arrest for assault. You don't have to say anything, but it may hold your defence if you do not miss it. What about? Something that you have to run into. He's married to my ex. Rough stuff. Stop! Stop! Wait, and you won't get oh. stuff. Calm down, yeah? Come on, Mr. Cole. You come on, mate. Come on. Jacket, please. Come on. After all I've done for you. Look, me and Jono, we weren't happy about doing it behind your back. Yeah, well, you didn't all that bother rolling around on that bed, did you? But can't you see how badly you've treated him? Worse than a dog! You wait. I'll show you what we do to slap oh, right, All right, that's enough. Not another word. This officer is threatening me and using excessive force. Yeah, well, get his shoulder number, love. Get your brief to whack a complaint. Always has to stick her big fat nose in. Keep still for me, Christy. The usual address, is it? 17 Tennyson Court, they like me. No, Chrissy, John o chucked you out. You don't live there anymore. Don't you think you've caused enough grief? Just you wait till I get my hands. Right, that is it. All of you, you are all on your final warning. Now, you empty your pockets and put your personal possessions on the desk. Ah, oh, the fairest sex. Look at them. Don't start looking down your nose at me. Christy! Right, what did I tell you? Right. What's your full name? Ollie what? Ollie has been nicknamed. This documentation reads Stephen James North. I'd say that's correct, Sarge. One small rock. This is David Coles. He's just assorted DC Terry Perkins in reception. Okay. Can I take some details, please, Mr. Cole? Well, go on. Oi! Ah! Oi! Oh, put him in the cell. I didn't, I didn't touch you. I didn't ah. touch you. Oh, come here. You all right? Yeah, just about. Let me see that. Right, hang on. I'll go see what's happening. Here, you want to pay your bills, love? Right. Come on, you scumbag. Christine! Help! 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 Be stupid! Well, come on, then! You'll need more than a bat! I'm warning you! Ah! You bitch! What are you spraying my eyes? You bitch! Where's your heart? Ah! What is that going on? Get out outside and do my shit. There's no damn prisoners outside. Go and shut the door. I don't want this going into the rest of the station. <coughs> <coughs> What bright sparks bred CS in custody? Look, Emma's still a bit green. She oh. overreacted when she felt threatened. Yeah, but it doesn't take an Einstein to work out that Christine and baseball bats don't mix. Yeah, but you sort of had to be there, really. I mean, Kezia was being assorted. We were dealing with that. Then the lights go off, we turn around. Christine's got a baseball bat in her hand. I'm talking about Einstein. They've only cut through one of the main feeds, haven't they? And blown all the power, not only in custody, but all along the corridor. I've called the engineer and he reckons they'll be there within an hour. Apparently. Right. Well, I've opened the door to clear the CS spray. But with the monitors and the computers off, I'm going to have to close custody. Oh, Killing, I can't breathe. You're going to have to get me something. Can't take you to FME, Christine. Come on. Christine's been a mother to Julie. They used to go for days out, shoplifting together. Until Christine got home about an hour ago and found Julie on top of her husband, John. Oh, marvellous. Right, well, come on, let's do a ring round and let's ship these prisoners out, all right? right? Well, I can bail a few, but I'm going to find Barton Street first because they're bound to have a few empty. Sorry, Mum, uh, there's a Peter Harris waiting for you in the front Ooh. office. I knew that bloke was going to turn up early. Who is he? Oh, he's some local bigwig. You know, our safer neighbourhood campaign, he's going to pay for the posters. Oh, well, that's a bit of good publicity, yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. He's got his own printing for, you know, it's not going to cost him much, is it? It's a way to get in with the council, you know, network a bit. You know, forget that we can't see a thing in custody, but he's a VIP and the superintendent wants to roll out the bloody red carpet. All I know is David Coles ain't too fond of coppers. Well, he's going to like us even less because we're going to throw the book at him. So put it all down in your notes and do not hold back. Sarge. Yeah, that David Coles is working his way through the nick. Just like Kezia one. What, what you saw with him? It was more of an accident. I don't know, whose side are you on? Mate, I'm not being funny, but if you just let me just hold it. David Coles. What, you know him? He's married to my ex. Nice. 
I'd like to try and sort this without any further action. Not after you smashed Kezia into the desk, no. We're talking you never arrested here. I doubt the geese even had a parking ticket. Come back in ten minutes. Cheers. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, the FME sort of Christine some medication to try and calm her down. Good. Now go and get yourself checked out. Because we're going to need a medical report. <laughs> I was me thinking it was because you cared. I was discussing the posters with the superintendent, and he suggested I come in for a guided tour and see the station in action. But if I'd known you were taking me jogging, I'd have put on a pair of trainers. I'm so sorry, but some clown of a workman has just knocked out the power to custody. Oh, thought you weren't too chuffed to see me. It's nothing personal, but I must chase up my engineer. He tends to get a bit quicker when threatened with strangulation. If you'd like to take a seat, Mr. Harris, someone will get you a cup of coffee, but I might be 15 minutes or so. Don't worry. And it's Peter. Peter. Coffee machine's busted. Oh, so there's no one looking. Look, I really don't want anyone else knowing at work. We've got a prisoner who needs to be shifted. Why don't we just concentrate on that? This isn't about anybody else knowing. This is about what I said last night, isn't it? Well, Bolt and from the blue spring to mind. How do you think I feel? Not every day that I use the L word, you know? Mm, I didn't think that was in your vocabulary. Look, you told me to take things more seriously. Since I have, it's as if you want to run a mile. No, what I meant was don't use me as a way of winding Stuart up. To turn round and say that you love me. Yeah, well, maybe if you told me how you felt, then maybe if you gave me a clue. OK, it's like we've missed a stage. You know, we've jumped into this this future together. I just need a bit more time. But you're nuts about me, really, don't you? Emma, get her to take a seat. The van's going to transfer on its way round. Christine is still in with the FME, so let's get Ollie through. Barton Street could only take four, so we still haven't got a nick that can take her yet. And I need Ollie's personal effects. Sorry. Your prisoner with no name? Having a chat with her brief. When she's done, you can use the interview rooms. Power's on in there. Apparently, they run on a separate circuit. Right. See if she's ready. Thanks, Golly. Going for a trip in a van. Cheers. Terry? Yeah? Can you get David Coles out of the cell and ready for transport? I still think he's in the next one. OK. Well, if it isn't my old mate, DS Hunter. Andrea. Good to see you again. My client isn't the only one who lost the memory. What did you say six months ago? I'll give you a ring and we'll go for a drink. Yeah, well, I must have lost your number. <laughs> That's what he says to all the ladies. Andrea Manning. Uh, DS Samantha Nixon. Why don't you tell me what's going on so I can help you out? Oh, help? Well, it would help if you weren't having an affair with my wife. Stand over there, will you? Sign there for me. Right, put Chrissy back in her cell. We're moving her next. Give me my rock or I'll cut Chrissy. his throat! Well, well, Chrissy, Chrissy, we can't do that. I swear I'll do what? it, I'll cut him! <laughs> Chrissy, stop it! Oh, you come oh. Get him in there! Get out! Well, you OK, get everyone, out! You get him out, you get my rock! Come on, out! Get out. Get out. Go, get move! Out. No, you, you stay there! Please. Oh, you come on, We're going, oh. Oh. Let's go, right, Chrissy, just calm down, we're all going! Look, we're all leaving, just stay calm, Chrissy! Shut that door now! Let me do it, Chrissy! Please, stay calm, stay calm! I... Now what's happening? Right, right Chrissy has taken David Cole's hostage and she's put a knife to his throat. We had no choice, we had to get out of there, but all the doors are locked, she's not going anywhere. How's your backs? Right, Terry, Will and Dan are off getting shields. Yeah, and Sam is taking that solicitor to the canteen, all right? And Phil has told Cab what's going on, so all right, Terry, get that door open. Right. Oh, yeah. I said! Don't make me start with you. I told you to get back, then. Well, Chrissy, just calm down and talk to I us. I said, get back or I'll kill him. Now, get my rock. You, get over here. Now, move it. Well, Christine, you've every right to be angry and betrayed, but th this isn't going to solve anything. Well, Chrissy, just put the knife down for me. Come on, we'll get the FME to give you some medication. Chrissy, for... Chrissy, calm down. No, I ain't going to take this off you. Get back. Right, come on, get her out of here. Christine? Talk to us. Come on, tell us what's happening. Come on. Step away, Julie, step away. Right, everybody, just stay where you are and keep quiet. 
I do not want this thing contaminated any more than it has been already. And someone ring for an ambulance! Right, get me the first aid box. Shh, 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 that is Terry. Chris, it's Terry. Can you hear me? Call you safe now. Right, I don't want these kept apart. I do not want any cross-contamination. <sighs> ambulance, it's an emergency. Sun Hill Nick, the cops are sweet. The prisoner's been stabbed. It's that drunken bastard! He stabbed Chris Davis! Julie, you sit there and you shut up! Oh, June. Custody is not a crime scene. I want you to get someone at the back door to make sure no one comes in. Then get me an exhibits officer to bag up their clothes and our uniforms. All okay. right? Are you coming? And I want you to keep watch here. Okay? I'm going to get out of your way. No, I'm afraid you can't, Mr. Harris. Just in case we need a statement. If you'd like to go back into my office, thank you very much. Could you get him a cup of tea? Right. David's neck wound is only superficial, but Christine's not looking so clever. When I find out who let that knife through, thank you very much. Straight in. Right, well, the paramedics have told us what we already know. Christine's lost a lot of blood and she's unconscious. Well, a death in custody could have us both on discipline. Who searched Christine? Kezia, it's not that simple. Well, from where I'm standing, she could have dropped us both in it. Gina, can I help? Well, a stabbing in custody means it's not ours anymore. This is officially DPS territory. Right, now they will not want us interviewing the suspects, but while we bag their clothes... We can have a quiet word. Yeah. Terry, you take David. Will, Dan, you do Ollie. Emma, you take Julie. Any name for your prisoner yet? No, sir, I'm still trying to calm her down. Well, come on, let's get a move on. We've got a couple of hours at the moment before the DPS get here. If we can hand the result on the plate, they'll be less inclined to focus on how the knife got in in the first place. Mm, be careful, huh? They think you've been interfering, they're going to start throwing charges about them. Look, I'm upstairs with Jake. It's his father's at work project. If you need any help. Evidence bags for the exhibits, officer. Um. That's all right, I'll take them through. <laughs> Back to work with a vengeance. <laughs> oh, uh, the honeymoon was great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm sure it was, considering you got your mates to bash me up before you left. It's a serious allegation. Considering I've got witnesses who saw you punch me, you're lucky I didn't prosecute. Look, we both know you did it, even if I can't prove it. Right. Now, this one was brought in on criminal deception. But when we went to interview her, she suddenly got amnesia, so we haven't got a clue who she is. Well, we know she didn't attack Christine. We had her in our sights all the time. Fair enough. Now, the CCTV before the power room. Christine squares up to Julie. Kezia finds the rock. She's so up for a fight, look. She's looking at Julie, then the bat. I reckon she was just about to attack Julie with the bat before the lights went out. And how did Kezia miss the knife? Because she was assaulted while she was searching Christine. Oh, come on, surely that proves that it wasn't her fault. I'll tell you what that proves. The relationships in the Nick don't mix. Emma and Will were there to look after Kezia. There was no need for you to run around the counter. Sorry to interrupt, Mum, but do we know how Christine got the knife yet? No. We'll let you know when we do. Oh. That looks like someone going around to protect their girlfriend. This could easily turn into a murder case. It's time you told us your name. I swear to you, I've lost my memory. Mandy Bates? Name ring any bells? Don't you think I wish it did? I don't know who I am, where I live, or what you think I've done. Can you turn your hand over, please, thanks? I want to see Andrea before I say anything else. I want my solicitor. Ollie has got three previous, but they're all for criminal damage. He's been living rough, so he's been breaking into places for somewhere to keep. Now, his first conviction was seven months ago, shortly after being discharged from the army. Unfortunately, they don't train you for Civvy Street. And then brought in today for assaulting Julie? Yeah. Now, Ollie has been staying at Christine's flat. They went out, and when they came back, they caught Julie in bed with her old man. And Christine was flashing the knife about. He said he understood that she felt angry and betrayed, but it wouldn't solve anything. He was trying to help her, trying to calm things down. And he also stuck up for Christine when they were being processed. So if he didn't stab her, then you must have seen what happened. Yeah, as soon as Christine pulled that knife, I got myself in the office and didn't come out. Whoever did what, I have no idea. Well, lucky or not, you're a witness. The DPS won't let you out of here to your corporate. I could really do with taking a leak, actually. Go on in, in there. <clears throat> Use the far ones, we can keep an eye on you, right? Mm -hmm. 
money's on that David Coles. You saw it as that. Well, it's a bit difficult. If Terry's just been with his missus, I'm not surprised. Look how he assaulted Kezia. We shouldn't have wound him up so much. Mate, Coles coming here kicking off. If he's gonna get arrested, he's gotta do as he's told. What are you doing in here? I'm doing a school project for my dad at work. He said I could go to the loo. Check. Anything alright? Dad, can I get a drink now? Sorry, sir. We must have spoke to him. We didn't realise he was in here. Oh, that's right. Kind of fizzy drink, he's get over it. Come on. What about David? Now, he says that Terry's having it off with his wife. Lovely. Must be why he came in and fumped him. Yeah, and he warned Christine just before the stabbing that if she came near him again, she'd regret it. And we know he can dish it out. Yeah, do you know what I think his problem is, though? Was the scream just as Christine was being stabbed? Or as she suddenly realised it? You know, a split second either way and all the commotion, it could rule any of them out. You were the last one seen with Christine. You were heard threatening her. David, you have to start talking to me. I fail to see why you're so concerned. If I get packed off to prison, you can jump into bed with my wife whenever you like. Let's forget about what's going on between us and try and sort this mess out. You don't get it, do you? There's been an incident at the station. A special squad will be brought in the DPS. be taken out of my hands. And you know what? You'll be their prime suspect. My whole life is in the process of falling apart, and you are entirely to blame for it. When Chrissy started flashing that knife about, I thought, I'm getting out of here sharpish. I ran back to the cells. And where was Christine then? Um, yeah, that little bit in the back. As I've done one, she's gone after David. He was trapped in the corner and they started fighting. And that's the last time you saw her? Yeah, yeah until I heard her scream. But I, I, I rushed back and to find her sparked out on the floor with a blade stuck in her. Look, it had to be that David. He was the only one with her. To get out of this place. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare. That's why we have to work together, David, to get you in the clear. Why are you pretending to care? You're having an affair with my wife! Please, you forget about Helen for one minute. We'll deal with it later. Right now, I need you to tell me did you see who stabbed Christine? I think it was that Ollie bloke. I reckon Julie did it. Well, not that I saw her stick the knife in, but Christine goes after her and David by the back door. I looked out to see what's happening. And Christine was confronting Julie, was she? I saw Julie racing back to the cells. All David did was push past Christine and run away. There was no sign of any knife. I reckon Julie had already stuck it in her. What about Ollie? No, him and Chrissy are like the best of mates. Besides, when it all kicked off, he scarpered in that officey bit. Uh, where did Christine keep the knife? Down the back of her boot. Her rabbit's gone twice as bad. That's why she started carrying it in the first place. Is there anything else you can tell us? Yeah. That it was the drunk guy that stabbed her. You sure Christine was stabbed before she got to David? As David got away, Christine did not have a knife in her hand. She came up and asked me for help, then started screaming and collapsed. You didn't see Julie kick off when Chrissy and I discovered her at it with Jono. I dragged Chrissy out. Julie runs after her, starts smashing Chrissy's head against a wall. You know what crack addicts are like. Christine came towards me with a knife again. Um, Julie escaped into that cell area. Uh, I managed to push past Christine and then ran around the corner and hid under the bench. And that's when you heard her stop at the solicitor's room and talk to Ollie, is that right? Well, it was more like a row, but yeah. And then Christine screamed. You know, David, if you did have something to do with this, there'd be a very strong case for self-defence. It had to be Ollie. Christine still had the knife when I ran, and he was the last one with her. Julie, Christine kept the knife down the back of her boot. The DPS will want to know how you missed that. Sorry to keep you. I'll organise some lunch from the canteen. I'm afraid it won't be the kind of cuisine you're used to. I might have made a few quid, but give me a bacon sarni any day of the week. You've started my crossword. Well, I had to do something. It was either that or rummage through your drawers. 
We haven't got very far. I'll rub it in. Do you do the cryptic every day? Mm, and usually I finish it. Well, I'll start us off. Then you can show me what a thicko I am. Sorry, Mum. Can I have a word? Would you excuse me? As soon as the DPS get here, they'll have me in the office and out of my ear. You were sorted while you were searching her. They have to take that into consideration. I know, but what am I going to do if Christine doesn't pull through? I was responsible for custody. I'm not the only one facing discipline. So the Hughes, Christine is still critical, and there were three knife wounds. Apart from the one in her side, there was a slash to her arm where she tried to protect herself, and one that went straight for the heart. Which means it wasn't self-defence. Which means we're looking at attempted murder. Whoever tried to kill her, they're going to have to have a reason. Well, David was having words with Christine in custody. I mean, he was banging on about the fairer sex. Mm, he was drunk and violent, and if he did get the knife off Christine, maybe it was to take this Helen business out on her. David's right. I've been seeing Helen. Uh, look, she bought him some clothes. What if she had a word with him when she was handing them over? Well, it's worth a try, because Christine was stabbed three times when I'm looking at attempted murder. And I'm going to have to tell the DPS about you and Helen. That's all right, Mum. I understand. And that goes for you and Kezia. DPS need to be told. Right. So, in other words, you're just going to drop us in? Oi, just remember who you were talking to. A murder case isn't about dropping anyone in it. There is too much at stake. Now, whether you like it or not, I cannot keep anything back. At 2013, yesterday evening, you were withdrawing cash from the National Equity. Guy in a black hoodie comes up behind you. And that is the last we see of him. Your bag was found around the corner, minus cash and credit cards. You were found unconscious and taken to St Hughes, where you were kept in overnight. The ID found in your bag suggests that you are Mandy Bates. There's even a copy of a birth certificate. Uniform ran a check and found Mr Bates at home. He rushed to the hospital in a panic, took one look at you and said you're not his wife. Are you sure he's not lying? If I'm not Mandy Bates, then why are her things in my bag? We've also spoken to the real Mrs Bates and she confirms that these are her details. We've also spoken to the bank and they said you use these details to open a bank account except with a different address. I keep trying, running it through my head, but there's nothing. Then let me jog your memory. The only reason you'd open an account in a false name is to pull off some kind of ID fraud. I wish I could help you, but I don't remember anything. So what does she think is going to happen? By not telling us her name, she's going to walk through? I have pointed that out to her. Which suggests you know who she is. If I admit that, I'm legally bound to inform you. Look, you're wasting time here. We're going to find out soon enough. I'm going to have to sit with her and the DPS. We'll be here all night. All right, look, you don't know. Just give us a clue, will you? Uh, PC Harmon's keeping an eye on her. But I did say we wouldn't be too long. This is strictly off record. Have you shown the real Mandy Bates a photo of my client? Uh, yeah, she's convinced they've never met. Not personally. Try professionally. Let me know when you're ready for interview. How much longer I've got to stay cooped up in here? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. The stabbing's delayed everything. Brighton Street Nick is full and they look for another Nick to take you to. David, Helen's bought some clothes for you. She'd like to have a word. You haven't told her that I know about you two. Well, under the circumstances, I have no choice, right? Was it a message on the answer machine? Was that a dig genius? I could see the way she looked at you. Why didn't you say anything? For the same reason I didn't want you telling her now. Because it would make it easier for her to walk away. And then you'd let her down again, and I'll have to pick up the pieces again. All I can say is I'm sorry. Um, with feelings left over from the... <laughs> David, you've got to... Okay. <sighs> Listen, Chris has been more than good to me. You know the state I used to be in. I was brought in here often enough. I did a lot of things I wasn't proud of until Chrissy took me in. If she hadn't got me off the street and got me together, there is no way I would do that to her. You said she's been pushing you around for months and you weren't going to put up with it anymore. Yeah, but that was all just since her son died. Andrew was in the army. He got killed in Iraq. It was coming up for a year. 
Look, Chrissy was never big in the mum stakes. Andrew spent most of his life in care. But they kept in touch. Yeah. Especially after he joined up. Chrissy was really proud. She used to carry a photo of him in his uniform. Say, it was the only good thing she'd ever done. Oh, I bet it was. Look, I might be an addict, but there are some crackheads you just don't go near. That's what she'd got like. She was taking more gear to get over it and... She just weren't safe to be around. So why sleep with her husband, then? We was worried about her. We were meeting because we were trying to work out what we was going to do, how we could help her. It, look, she had threatened me and Jono loads of times with that knife. Ollie said that when they arrived, it was you that went out and attacked Christy. He's lying. I felt terrible. I went out to talk to Chrissy. She attacked me. So come on, then. What can you tell us about Ollie? That he's Andrew's mate from the army. He, he turned up out the blue about a week ago. And you don't think he did the stabbing? No chance. He did her the world of good. Chrissy treated him like a long lost son. Oh. Right, I sent a photo up to Manny Bates' office. A colleague recognised her as a cleaner, so I called the cleaning company. And although she left two weeks ago, they kept her fire. Meet Gillian Marsh. Now, we ran the details through the system and no such person exists. Maybe some of the details are wrong? Are you Gillian Marsh or not? I'm refusing to make any comment. Which suggests you're using at least two false identities. I'm not answering any more questions. Oh, David, come here. It's OK. Oh, it's OK. What happened with this stabbing? Tell me the truth, David. You think I'm capable of hurting someone like that? D did you see anything? There's nothing more that you could tell Terry. I've told you everything, so there's really no need to get Helen playing detective. You've known for a while, haven't you? All that matters is that it isn't too late to sort this mess out. I wanted to tell you, I wanted to be honest. I... I've hated myself. When we first met, you said you'd never been so happy. We can be like that again. It's not that I don't love you. I, I still care. Well, if you do, you'll give me another chance. I've got to be honest with you, David. I couldn't before because you don't deserve it. Well, we can sort this. Come on, David. When Terry came back, I couldn't help myself. I still had feelings. Remember how he lay you and the kids down last time? Yeah, but they're our kids. We've got a history together. He can't love you the way that I do. That's why I pretended not to know. That's how much I don't want to lose you. I'm so sorry, David. It doesn't matter how much I love you, it's just... It's not the same. I'm sorry. I was Andrew's sergeant. I stuck with a guy straight from basic training. He's a joker in every unit. He wasn't fond of taking too many orders. And you were there when Andrew was killed? Seeing someone shot to bits like that, you don't want to play soldiers anymore. So I attacked in the army. How come you sleeping rough, though? Well, I couldn't go home. My dad and crammed father served in the regiment. Felt like I let down the family tradition. I'm losing a close mate like that. You feel it wandering off. So why did you turn up the Christine's? A part of me thought if I went and saw her, it might help to talk them through. Well, Julie told us that Christine's habit and she became aggressive and violent. She didn't hide taking crap. But she never offered me any. From what I could see, she was great. Christine was looking after me. Right, well, we're going to transfer you to another Nick, so you won't be in there much longer. Mel, what do you reckon? You don't just jack in the army, you serve a tour of duty. Now, I'm going to check this out and speak to his regiment. So, I'd like to have a word. That's all, Mum. This is starting to look even worse. Yeah, we're get this That's fine. And are our clothes on their way? Great. Thanks. Bye. False ID means it's either a scam or she's hiding something. I'll go with the latter. And you might check for distinguishing marks. What is this? 
You've got a funny way of protecting your clients. You'll find out eventually. I'm just trying to save us all time and hassle. So what went on between you two? I just took her out a couple of times. Oh, sure you haven't put on a promise? I'm not the one with the problem in this relationship. Mm. Maybe if you told me how you felt. Well, I'm not sure. If there's any chance of not charging David, look, you know what happened between me and Helen. If anyone has to blame for him hitting you, it's me. The knife getting through is done to me. I've got to use the assault on my defence. I can't say to the DPS I couldn't do my job because David hit me up, but by the way, I let him off. Yeah, and, and if the DPS decide not to proceed? Well, the way things are shaping up, I'll be lucky to stay in a job. Jake, this is Matt. Now, he's a CPS solicitor. Do you want him to tell you how he puts away the villains? No, thanks. My project's on Dad's that work. Where's the go? Something's wrong, isn't there? Jake. Tell me what it is. Now, because we're still trying to identify who you are, we're going to have to check you over for birth marks or tattoos. I've told them I'm not happy about this, but I'm afraid we haven't got much choice. This way. So accounts reckon Seven Downs Dante's peak. Thanks, Sissy. Caught red handed. Well, he'll have to do better than that. He's certainly done about half a dozen. The lights are back on in custody. Marvellous, thank you, PC Kapoor. Obviously, threatening the engineer with strangulation works wonders. Now the DPS should be here soon and then we'll take the statement, okay? Oh, by the way, three down. Mary Queen of Scots. Oh, Mom. I've just had St. Hughes on the phone. Christine's still unconscious, but she's stable. They're sure she's going to pull through. Hallelujah! <laughs> now we can see what we're doing. As you can see, no birthmarks or tattoos. How did you get those scars? You don't have to answer that. No comment. OK. You can get dressed now. We thought she changed her name because she's a villain. We're dealing with a victim. Uh, it's a bloodstain on the door. It has to be down at Wally. Now, I've spoken to his regiment, and Ollie received a dishonourable discharge for cowardice. When Christine's son was shot, Ollie had done a run on him and was hiding. No, no, no. Why would Christine take him in? Because I don't think Christine knew that Ollie and Stephen James North were the same person. Yeah. Something happened in that toilet. Look, you're here today to find out what it's like to be a cop. Well, sometimes that means you've got to be really brave. That prisoner, did he do something? Why didn't you tell me? I was too scared. What did he do? He went like this. As I processed him, Ollie hesitated about giving us his name. So Emma read his details from his wallet and said his real name, Stephen James North. It was shortly after this that Christine kicked off. Now, the army will have held an inquiry. So Christine must have known that her son Andrew was involved in a firefight and that North, Ollie, had done a runner. So when Christine hears Ollie's name, his real name... Look at her body language. Oh, she's looking at him. See, we thought Christine was getting stressed because Kezia had found her drugs. But after this, she grabs the bat and we just assumed she was going after Julie because of what Julie said, but she could equally have been going after Ollie. So when Ollie said she had every right to feel angry and betrayed, he might not necessarily have been talking about her old man in bed with Julie. DC Walker! We need to speak to Ollie. Just come out a minute, please. Mum. Mr North. Excuse me. I think I've got something of yours. You left this in the waste bin in the toilet. Get back! Get back! Shut the door! Shut the door! I'm driving out of here or I kill her! So what's all this about? Jake came out of the cubicle. He's throwing white blood off his arm with this using water from the arrival. He threatened him. What? I'll talk to him. No, 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 you are far too involved. Mom, he's army. I'll deal with it. All right. I need the keys to the cuffs and the van right now. 
You want to sit there and watch her die? Ollie, look, you know how this works. The only way we are going to get through this is if you talk to me. <laughs> I've met enough victims. And from the amount of punishment, this abuse has obviously gone on a few years. Which suggests to me that you've never made a complaint. You're too scared. He's clever, isn't he? Doesn't leave marks where they'd show. And I bet if anyone came round, you couldn't wish to meet a nicer bloke. But once that front door's shut... My real name's Stephanie Taylor. And I do need your help, please. Sure. Don't worry. We will get this sorted. Right, Stephanie Ruth Taylor from Wandsworth. So it's no one she didn't run her. So we're looking for her? So I thought if she's hiding from someone, she's got to be listed as a misper. So I ran a check at the same time that she arrived in Sunnyhill. She cleared her up his bank account at seven grand, forged his signature at the bank. He took a lease on a local flat two weeks before she disappeared. So it was well planned. It's not as simple as you think. Grab Andrea, I'll see you in the interview room. I'll put a call into your regiment. Oh, they're talking about running away. <laughs> Let all my mates down. I've seen active service and there were times when I was... Oh, come over the long ass pal. All you're after is me letting go. You're absolutely right. Because I'm her sergeant, just like you were Andrews. So what? You're going to hurt Kezia while I have to sit here and watch, are you? Yeah, keep talking while I snap her neck. You couldn't handle what happened, and that is all right. So you come home and you turn up at Christine's front door. You think that if you explain... That if you can get Andrew's mum to forgive Look, you... Look, the only reason I took cover was I thought the rest of my unit was already wiped out! Christine didn't know who you were until you arrived at the Nick, did she? Andy wrote home. Call me Ollie. And then she caught up with you at the solicitor's door. <laughs> Said it was my fault Andy's dead. I begged her, please, let me explain. <laughs> She kept going on and on. Like it was the only way to start her up. I think enough people have been hurt. So come on. <laughs> Let go kiss you for me. Second night of my honeymoon it started. I said I'd flirted with a waiter behind the bar. I'd never even thought of myself as a victim. I was kicked, punched, my head smashed against the wall. He'd keep bringing me round so he could start again. You're doing brilliantly. So I spent the last eight years having to be perfect. Except sometimes he'd beat me black and blue and burn me to keep me on my toes. But you decided you'd had enough. He hated shopping. It was the only thing I was allowed out to do. Though I was timed. I had to be back in half an hour. The supermarket sold mobile phones. I plucked up courage and bought one. I kept it hidden. And when he went out, I called telephone banking and set up an account with money my aunt had left me. Gillian Marsh was my best pal at junior school. Same age. I knew some of her details. So you used the money to get away? The supermarket also sold laptops. I... I learned how to connect to the internet via my mobile. It was like being free out in the world again. I had to disappear, so I logged onto property leasing. And that's how you got the flat? And the job as a cleaner. I got everything sorted, headed out to the supermarket, got on a train to Sunhill and never went back. So what about the £7,000 you stole? He was always money mad. That was my way of causing him some pain and hurt. Sorry. It's just that, apart from Andrea, you're the first people I've ever told. <laughs> All right. Mom, it's the DPS, DCI Simon Baines. Perfect timing, so if you'd like to come this way. Good in there. Stephanie's already said she doesn't want to prosecute. She's too scared. 
which I think leaves us with two choices. Well, the first being we charge a Romano in custody, that way she won't disappear again. Which I think you'd agree she doesn't deserve. If we bail Stephanie, she won't turn up in court if she knows her husband's going to be there. She's held up her hands. You've got a result. But she's not going to hang around, is she? She knows we have to inform her husband we found her. We'll never see her again. Now I see why you've been so helpful. Well, let's just say I didn't want you to make things any worse for her. OK. DC Walker. DCI Baines has looked at the CCTV and is recommending no disciplinary action. Thank you, Mark. Mm. Uh, thank you for not saying anything about me and Kizzy. I'm just trying to look out for you. I know. No further action. Good. Well, as you're in such a good mood, if David were to apologise... It didn't look like he meant to do it, and I'm sure we can discuss a caution with the CPS. OK. Right. I'll run Stephanie straight home. I'll be get packed and away. Yeah, well, you should tell me now. No, you didn't hear this from me, but I won't inform his local Nick until the morning. We'll just blame it on the chaos, all right? Give you a head start. That's what he's done to me. <laughs> I'm not used to people being nice. Come on, Stephanie. Here's my number, if you ever fancy that drink. I shouldn't put you under pressure. It's all right. I've got one or two things I need to sort out. He's going to move into b and he said he's going to get his things in the next couple of days. Right. Look, is it OK if we uh, take it to the kids together? Yeah, of course. We need to get used to me being back, you know? Yeah. Look, you're not going to regret this, right? I promise. Come on, let's go. Well, that obviously works, and I love you. Look, I've only... I've only just squared it with a DI. I was going to come and find you. I was going to tell you. Well, you said you're going away for a few weeks. Yeah. You know what it's been like here recently. Right, so you're getting away from me. No, not just you. Here. I've been through so much lately, Phil. Sam, if you're calling it a day, I'd rather you be straight with me. It's never going to work. Well, maybe if you gave it a chance. I don't. You might think that you're ready to settle down. You and... think I'm going to chase other women? <laughs> well, with your track record. And by then, I'd be using the love word and, and I'd just get left high and dry. Just talk about it. Just give it a few weeks, you know, and it will all be fine. And it's, it would spoil everything. I don't want to lose you as a mate. Let's go for a drink. Let's go and talk. See you in a few weeks. I'd wait, seeing I've hung about all day to give my statement, and the least you can do is let me buy you dinner. We can finish the crossword. Well, thanks for the invite, but it's been a very long day. Well, if you ever change your mind. I'll take a thought. I don't have anything in my cupboards. I'm very glad to hear it. I hope it's a bit more than a bacon sauna. We're talking two across by Camplewhite. Time on the bill. Stay where you are. Your dad's been arrested for burglary. Never touch me. It's only a bit of spilt beer. You'll take that smile off your face, or shall I? He threatened me earlier inside, didn't he? You heard. You're done for. You're in trouble, mate. Guess what? 
It's Jan versus Scott in the one they dread the most. They're starving and they're both in for a meal they'll never forget. It's the Bush Tugger Jewel. Eat your dinner before watching this one. We've got that plus the rest of today's action. Don't miss it. That's all on the menu next here on ITV One.